We have an area of high pressure situated nearby, paved the way to a lot of sunshine today. Plus, we've had a gusty southwest wind to help usher in some big time warmth. Highs soared into the upper 80s and lower 90s, and we stand a chance of seeing a passing thunder shower heading into this evening. A strong thunderstorm contains some gusty winds and locally heavy downpours will be possible for counties northwest of Fort Wayne. We're talking Noble, LaGrange, Kosciuszko, possibly Steuben County, as well as Wabash. Again, timing closer to about 6, 7 o'clock, where we could get those stronger thunderstorms as it continues to track from the northwest to the southeast. It does fall apart and basically fizzles out, so not everybody's going to see a passing shower or thunderstorm. We get another thunderstorm chance closer to about midnight. This will track quickly off to the east and again some locally heavy downpours and gusty winds. Overall, that is our best rain chance in the near term. So if you have a garden or any beautiful flowers that you want to keep around, be sure to water them over the course of the next few days. Tonight, overnight lows are expected to fall right near 67 degrees, a very mild and muggy one for us. But at least as we go throughout the day on Friday, we have some improvements in the humidity department. We're looking at the clouds decreasing as we go throughout the day. A little bit of light fog early in the morning, but that will dissipate quickly. Sunshine midday and beyond with just a few fair weather clouds in the afternoon, but that north wind is going to bring down those dew points. So it's going to be feeling a little bit more comfortable in the afternoon. Temperature wise, a little bit cooler too. We're talking highs in the afternoon, topping out in about the low to mid 80s area wide, keeping humidity levels fairly low and comfortable through Saturday before some big time heat and humidity builds across the region starting Sunday and beyond. I'll break everything down for you in your hometown forecast on Fox 55 News.